fresh out in theaters is Solo, a Star Wars story. Thought we were in trouble there for a second, but it's fine. We're fine. What we get to see is his origin story as a swashbuckling smuggler, and it's a film some people weren't sure they wanted. Uh, it's, it's, it doesn't follow any of the direct, uh, you know, trilogies that, that we've had so far. I always felt initially that a solo movie was a push. It felt like a money grab to me. Solo is a great character, but I didn't know if he was a guy you could build a movie around. I went into it thinking it might be the first dud of the new movies, and I was totally wrong. Like no other Star Wars story, because it's the first Star Wars film where there is no force, effectively. It's also a film where we never have a blood Skywalker. It, it is allowed overall to exist in its own world. I got a really good feeling about this. So it's a relief to kind of be free of Death Stars and, and after Less Jedi, not to have to worry about the Skywalker saga for a little while. Captain Lindo Carazin, on Solo. One of the first things I thought about after finishing Solo is there was so much pressure and worrying about Alden Ehrenreich in the lead role as Han Solo. But the thing that really stands out about the movie is the supporting cast is so strong, he didn't need to be fantastic as Han Solo. Uh, Woody Harrelson as Han Solo's mentor. Uh, Donald Glover was just full of swag as Lando. You know, those performances kind of lift Alden up a little bit. About midway through this film, I was still skeptical. I wasn't sure if Alden Ehrenreich was gonna really kind of find his groove as Han Solo. The pacing felt choppy, but it still took a little while to take off. But once it does, uh, it really starts soaring. Uh, Ehrenreich finds his groove as Han, and Donald Glover as Lando uh, just radiates charisma. <laughs> So we're now at four Star Wars movies since uh, the Disney purchase. So now that we have four brand new ones, we can finally get to a point where we can start ranking them. Number four, I'd go with The Last Jedi, a movie I liked a lot. I was really happy that Mark Hamill was able to return as Luke. Uh, number three is Force Awakens, which had a lot of stress to reintroduce the Star Wars universe. Uh, number two, I've got Solo, which we just saw. Again, it was just a total surprise. And number one for me is Rogue One, because any movie with Darth Vader lighting people up with a lightsaber is always going to be number one on my list. Number four would be uh, The Last Jedi. There were so many diversions and plot holes and things that it really slowed me down. Third for me is The Force Awakens. It was a thrill, such a thrill to have it back. Number two is this film, Solo. Ron Howard safely steered this film in. Number one for me is Rogue One maybe the most well-rounded Star Wars film ever. 